There is such a variety of knit fabrics on the market today, and as a result, more sewers are investing in an overlocker, and it really is a worthwhile purchase. You can run up a garment in no time at all. It joins, trims and neatens the seam in one operation and does so at a rate of knots. The seam will stretch as your fabric stretches. A perfect stitch and from the right side looks like a conventional seam. If you want to make great garments for active sports or dance, then an overlocker is for you. Take advantage of all these lovely jerseys and easily make original and comfortable clothes for your active life. Learn a few tricks and you will be able to make anything from swimwear to an original t-shirt for the man in your life. or just something incredibly pretty for yourself. Overlockers are equally brilliant with woven fabrics. Use them for conventional seams. Especially for those fabrics that are inclined to fray. Stitch, trim and neaten, as with jersey. Or stitch a conventional seam with your sewing machine, press the seam open, and then trim and neaten with your overlocker. Practically all garments you purchase today are finished in this way. Lightweights too. An overlocker copes with all sorts of fabrics with no adjustment. Overlooking is great for quickly making up your linings. Lining fabrics are so inclined to fray. With an overlocker, you will always make your garments to a professional standard, but quickly. Overlocking can be decorative too. Just thread the loopers with novelty yarns. Most overlockers have controls for making adjustments to the stitch. This dial controls the stitch length. Many overlockers provide options for stitch width, trimming width, and the choice of stitching with two needles, or left needle only, or right needle only. They often also have settings for special techniques, for example, the rolled hem. This is a versatile piece of equipment. One of the major differences between models is ease of threading. Overlockers are notoriously difficult to thread. This model has easy jet air threading. Overlockers haven't changed in the way that sewing machines have. I still use my first overlocker bought some 25 years ago. Overlockers in general have four thread feeds. Two go to the needles and two are the looper threads, each having a tension dial. The foot and sewing plate are similar to a sewing machine but to the right of the foot is a moving blade, which trims the seam as you stitch. There is a finger guard so that you don't trim your fingers in the process. There is little to go wrong, so as long as you are conscientious about maintenance, which involves removing the fluff buildup and oiling, such a machine will give many years of service. Replacing the cutting blade is all that is required every now and again. The best advice I would give when using an overlocker is don't get pins anywhere near the stitching line. As you can see, this older machine produces a stitch equal in quality to the standard of my newer, high-end model. It is a real workhorse. They are not too expensive to buy either, and you can produce a pretty comprehensive wardrobe by just using an overlocker if you're clever with your techniques. Run up a pair of jeans in no time at all, and then, with no adjustment, throw together a lightweight jersey tee.
practice with my jersey workout bundle, then chill in the city sunshine. It's going to be a scorcher of a summer. <laughs>